guys. <laughs> Good morning, day 35. I am sadly leaving Damascus. It has been such a great stay. Lady Dies is awesome. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, Lady Die is amazing. Uh, bed and breakfast is super clean. Definitely the cleanest I've seen yet. <laughs> hot showers, like actually hot showers. Great breakfast. And of course, Duke, the puppy, was awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a great day today. High of 75 and sunny. Plan is to just go 15.7, but it sounds like everybody is doing that today. So it might be a very, very crowded shelter. We'll see what happens, but, oh, I am ready to start today. I will talk to you guys later. So even though I started hiking about quarter to eight this morning, apparently I'm still the first person on trail <laughs> because I have been silk blazing like nobody's business, including with three of the spiders still attached to their webs. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll meet somebody who gets up earlier than me and he'll clear the trail so that way I don't have to do it every morning. <laughs> Oh, so at Lady Dies, she had a luggage scale. I was curious to weigh my pack before I left. I've had one liter of water and about four and a half days worth of food on me. And it came out to like 25.1 pounds. So that may not sound like a lot. And if you're a six foot, you know, 180 pound dude, it's probably not a lot. <laughs> but... When you're really short and small, it's heavy. <laughs> and then you gotta climb out of town because it's always a climb out of town. But, whew, I mean, it could be worse. I could be carrying a 30 pound pack, right? Oh, oh. so one of the things I'm having my sister send me at my next, uh, not resupply, because I don't have her, like I said, send me food for the most part, but one of the things I'm having her mail me is a um, sleeping pad inflator pump. It weighs like right around three ounces and it's um, not the Thermarest one because those are battery operated and really slow. This one supposedly inflates pretty fast and has a USB charge port. So I'm so excited to get that. That is a luxury that I am willing to carry. I use the Thermarest pump sack that comes with the pad right now and it is the chore that I hate doing the most on the trail every single night I dread having to blow that pad up so I will take the roughly three ounce penalty for that pump so I cannot wait till I get that and when I do get it I'll show you how it works <laughs> talk to you later What an amazing day. The birds have been chirping all morning. The leaves are budding on the trees. There's lots of little wildflowers. It is so warm outside and sunny. Oh, every day could be so perfect, right? But the next couple days should be. I think today, tomorrow, and the next day are all supposed to be in the 70s and sunny. And then the next day I think is supposed to be rain, so We'll see if it changes or if it stays that way. Um, but if it does stay that way, I'll probably make that like a super short hiking day. And uh, just kind of mosey on over to the next shelter instead of taking a long day. Because hiking in the rain, it, when your feet are soaking wet, my feet get fatigued very quickly and they just hurt. So I try to keep those rain days short. But for now, I'm enjoying the sunshine and loving every second of it. We have a tiny little creek crossing to do.
Lots of people coming southbound today. I'm not sure if they are section hikers or if they're northbounders just doing a section in a different, different way. I think this is the way I'm going. Yes. So it's interesting to see a bunch of people today because usually I only see people when I pass them going north. But uh, today a lot of southbounders and crossing a road now. Right across the road is a pretty bridge. I love bridges. Very pretty. I've been noticing a lot, a lot, a lot of leaves of three on trail today. Haven't noticed anything prior to today. Are they poison ivy? I don't know. I'm not good at identifying plants, so I'm not sure. But I don't have an allergy to poison ivy. Uh, it's tried and tested, so I'm not worried about it. But oh, I still won't purposely like walk through it if I see leaves of three, because you never know. You could develop an allergy to it later, and that's the last thing I want on trail. <laughs> but, oh man, the nose is running today. So, I am looking at the next few days and my resupply points are a little confusing. I'm not sure what I'm doing as far as we're gonna resupply next. But I do know that one of these days, I wanna make sure I make the miles to get to the partnership shelter um, for the night because one, it's a really nice shelter. But two, you can order pizza to be delivered there. <laughs> and who doesn't want that? So that's the short-term game plan is get to the partnership shelter. <laughs> The section here is so pretty. All the plants and the moss and the sun shining through. I just uh, crossed paths with a Nobo through hiker who is currently slack packing southbound today and uh, his name is Popeye and his wife 40 steps and they had a puppy three months old and her name is Georgia and I'll post pictures because she was the sweetest little puppy ever oh my god made my day oh god if I could have took her with me I would have she was so sweet, just kissing me and trying to take my trekking pole and <laughs> just, oh my God, so adorable. Every time I see a dog out on the trail, I get so happy. They, seriously, they make my day. It's just, animals have a way of brightening people's days no matter what. So, thank you guys for letting me meet your puppy. She was precious. I'm a little under three and a half miles left to the shelter and I had to stop and take a break for a little bit just grab a snack because it is after one o'clock and I have not taken a break yet um, I really didn't want lunch because I really wasn't too hungry from after breakfast this morning so I just had some snacks but I needed fuel. Every time I come out of a town, I find myself to be a little bit more sluggish the first day. And even though I did do some hiking yesterday, it's a oh, pretty little creek. Um, I still always feel oh, like I haven't hiked the day before because I always do such little miles to get into town. So I feel like I had the day off and then 
trying to get back on trail the next day. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to get your body feeling like going. But tomorrow I'm sure I will be back to it. I'm trying to figure out the shelters because the shelters are really terribly spaced out here. They're either really short or really long. And I had said I don't want to do a ton of miles to, you know, keep doing this. But <laughs> it never works out that way because I don't want to do a nine-mile day. But I don't want to do a 24-mile day either. So there are a ton of campsites um, in between. So I can essentially stop at any time. But the one thing about a lot of these shelters here, they have bear boxes um, in the Mount Rogers area. So you don't have to worry about hanging your food. There's usually privies. So it tends to be <laughs> very convenient to stay at the shelters. But I don't know, I may end up tenting it a couple nights because it's supposed to be really nice out anyway so no rain for the next few nights so if I do go past the shelters then I'll just have to deal with the inconvenience but we'll uh, figure that out when I get to it because tonight I'm just pretty much going to that shelter I don't think I'm going to go past it even though it's really early well the Virginia Creeper Trail and the Appalachian Trail briefly collide how neat is this Ooh, and there's a bench. I want to sit in it just because it's here. Oh. It's a bench. <laughs> There are so many cyclists out right now. I have never said hello and hi so many times in my life. Oh, wow. But it is a weekend and it's gorgeous. Everybody's getting out and enjoying this day. Nice, long, super long bridge walk. I told you I have my sister sending me shoes over 100 miles up the trail because I couldn't get any in Damascus. So you already know about, well, hole. Hole. Now, the whole side of my shoe, the whole thing is splitting. <sighs> I might end up having to duct tape my entire shoes just to get me to my mail drop down the trail. <laughs> this should be interesting. Just rinsed myself off in this creek. It's hot, and that felt so good. I just want to dive right into it. Probably gonna wash, rinse my face off one more time before I get moving. You're on my backpack, buddy. You're gonna have to get off. You can't hitch a ride with me. Ooh, snake. Baby, oh. oh, hello, little one. I'm gonna move the sleeve so I can get a video of you. Don't be afraid. Oh, hello. Okay, made it to Lost Mountain Shelter. Today was 15.7 miles, and uh, we got trail magic 1.2 miles back. It was really cool out and about who is a fellow through hiker she was taking some time off of the trail just like a day or two when her parents came down and they were doing trail magic so i got a turkey and cheese with lettuce and mayo and mustard and all that sandwich it was excellent and then a gatorade so thank you for the trail magic that was awesome and uh here's a picture uh with them uh and let's see here tonight i am with one other person so far, but I think there's supposed to be a few other people showing up tonight, but we'll see. I'm going to sleep in a shelter tonight, though. Make it easy. Get up and out tomorrow morning. Don't know where I'm going tomorrow, but I will be sure to let you know. Show them what you found. Show them what you found. What do we find? Isn't that cute? Yeah, we found that. I don't know who left it or where it came from. Irwin, Tennessee. <laughs>
There we go. Yeah, it was set on one of the logs out there. Pretty cool. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the morning.